Hi, welcome back. It's been exactly three weeks since I built this guitar. It's been three weeks since I built this guitar. Do, 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 do. Oh, and if that doesn't make you switch off, nothing will. Okay, so what have I learned in three weeks? Um, yeah, yeah, quite a lot. I haven't done anything to it, so I'm going to be doing some bits and pieces now uh, to do with string height and uh, some other things. Now, I mean, the first thing is I feel utterly ridiculous for, you know, crying and moaning on about this not being straight in the original building video. It's not meant to be straight. Um, shows what I know. Uh, and so I'm going to be doing string high intonation uh, and um, one other thing is the headstock. Now, I liked the headstock when I planned it and then I built it and I was like, mm, I'm not sure. And now I'm definitely not sure. It just looks too round at the end, I think. So what I'm going to do is bring it round here and then down here a bit. So there's, there's something, there's a bit of a, there's a bit of a breakup. So it's not just one smooth thing. And it might bring it too close to these words, but hey, I'm not, you know, selling it to private collectors. It's my own personal use. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah. So that's going to be fun. So uh, let's get started. So looking down the neck, the neck actually looks fine. It looks almost flat, perhaps with a slight bow uh, up, but it's 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 where it needs to be. So the string height here is too high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower uh, this piece here, um, possibly more on the wrong side possibly more on the bass side than the treble side because it is definitely higher on that side. So, let's do that. Screwdriver required. Still not advertising this, uh, but it's really handy. So, what's going to make it go? There, so let's do it down, so it's going lower and lower. A little bit on this side. And then we'll check what it looks like. Okay, that is nice. That is uh, really quite a low action. Um, ninth fret, I've got a capo on one, and uh, that is a nice low action. Now, this pickup is significantly closer to the strings than this pickup. So, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this one. Uh, close to the strings, and I'm going to do that by. Um, no, I'm not going to mess around with the pole pieces. That is, that's beyond my level of utter non-existent expertise. I'm going to just lightly unscrew it. Look at this. Because of the springs, it's desperate to pop up. It's absolutely desperate to. So I love playing with magnets. Um, so you just have to take a little bit. Uh, out here, take some of the, the tension out in the springs, and that is that's now that's now getting closer. I'm actually going to lift it up a tiny bit more, so I can. Uh, it's going to be one of those trial and error things, I think, um, where I plug it in and it's far too close and uh, nothing's happy. But I'm kind of liking that. Uh, you can see that we've got the pickups. I don't know how are they in terms of close to the strings, we've got a nice uh, action, might be too low, but I've, I've tried sort of fretting all the notes and playing and there's no, there's no dead notes anywhere. Um, so I'm now going to do the intonation. Um, I am going to pause you for that because I'm not confident enough in my own skills to uh, do that. Once I've done a fit works, I might do uh, another video. I'm just going to do that now. I'm going to tune up, do the intonation and then plug it in again. I mean, while I'm doing this, I just thought, going back to the, if you watched my first video, the string tree, which was jettisoned uh, across the room by the, the G and the D string, um, I've just not replaced that. I've just left it. I've tried to lower, uh, you know, the angle across the nut, um, the angle across the nut by winding the, the strings a bit lower. So it seems to be working for now anyway.
So what I've done is I've tuned it up. I've then done the intonation. So that's, I've made sure that the note is the same on the open string as it is on the 12th string. The G was being, the G was being awkward and will continue to be because it's the G string. But uh, I think it's, it's, it's quite nicely done now. So let's plug it in, see what happens. Right, here we are. Um, while you were away, I actually moved this uh, pickup even closer to the strings because it was still it was still quiet. So let's have the neck. Middle. Very different sound. It's quite. Well, the turn off the. And then, play the game. We'll turn the master down. Oh, wrong one. There we go, that's your, that's your three weeks later, and it's still, ah, I just, I love the look of this, I think I've done a good job, um, and it's, uh, it's a nice working guitar.